Well, shifting gears, if you plan on driving I-70 in the mountains over the next few weeks, be prepared for some stop and go traffic. CDOT is working on a construction project along I-70 near the Evergreen exit, and the rock blasting means there will be traffic holds on and off for the next two weeks in this area. Denver 7's Colin Riley is in the mountains with more on how this blasting isn't for rockfall mitigation. Now, CDOT isn't blasting these rocks off of a steep cliff face. This is on a hill that's set back and angled away from the road, so they're able to drill down and detonate their explosives 25 feet deep. How do you turn the side of a rocky hill like this one into a flat surface parking lot with room for 40 spaces and a bus stop? CDOT says underground blasting is the safest and easiest way to move thousands of cubic feet of earth, all to make room for their new Pegasus Bustang shuttle stop. Pegasus is great, especially during the winter seasons if you're going up skiing. That shuttle takes riders from Denver's Union Station to Idaho Springs, Frisco, and Vail. This is for a brand new stop in Evergreen. Crews have already dug down as far as their machines would go. Now, with the help of explosives, they can break up and remove the remaining rock. For this project, you have rock that's more underground. So uh, we do the underground blasting, which helps to break up those rocks. And then in the future, crews can move those rocks out of the area. Traffic will be held on I-70 and US-40 during these blasts over the next two weeks. CDOT says that driver safety is the main concern. We have a good idea of what it will look like, but Mother Nature sometimes has other plans. So you could have a rock that decides to go off onto I-70 and then that put, potentially puts motorists at risk. So we need to do the I-70 traffic holds just as a safety precaution. And keep in mind that there will be no detours. If you do get stuck in a traffic hold, CDOT asks that you stay on the road and wait. Blasting should wrap up by the end of next week. Then, once all that earth is moved, construction can begin on the Pegasus shuttle parking lot, which CDOT hopes to be up and running by December. Along I-70, I'm Colin Riley for Denver 7.